So have you ever heard the word depreciation? That's what this chapter is about. Um, it, it interestingly um, doesn't say depreciation. I realize I cut off some of the words here, but that's okay. Um, in the chap chapter title, it says property acquisition, which means you acquire some property and cost recovery. And cost recovery basically means depreciation um, and amortization. And basically what we're doing is taking the cost of property that we're using in a trade, a business, a farm, and we're writing it off over the life of the asset that we have acquired or the property that we have acquired. So for example, let's say I buy a new computer to use in my CPA practice. How many years will that computer help me I also see a typo here and you guys know how much I hate typos um how many years will that computer help me make money and we have the matching principle we're matching revenue with expenses and so I if I write the computer off if I spend a thousand dollars the day I buy it I'm not matching the revenue that I've earned in years two and three with the expense of that computer because I'm I need to spread it out over the three or five years as well. Let's just go with five, make the math a little easier. But instead, if I take that $1,000 computer and I write it off over five years, I'm writing off $200 a year, I'm matching that expense to the revenue. So that's what we mean when we say um, cost recovery. And we look at personal property, real property. Now, this is an often confused word here, personal property. It's business property that is considered personal property, but it's still business property. So read carefully when you get into that. Um, real property, intangible assets, natural resources. And so we have to determine according to the IRS, what is the life of that asset? What method should we be using? And convention. And so there's uh, 150, 200, there's makers. Um, there's all kinds of different things that we look at, and we, we're going to focus on basic makers, which is modified accelerated cost recovery system, and we're going to talk a lot about section 179. Read that carefully. Very common terminology that we use in the world of tax. Bonus depreciation and what listed property is and how depreciation is limited on your listed property. So um, again, pay attention to that terminology as you work through chapter 10.